the general dream of what you want to be a future the big picture you have shared with them but then the little steps you're taking together you're not sharing them. all of a sudden they find out that you're taking up a new program suddenly they find out that you're taking you're learning a new skill suddenly they find out that you're traveling so so place everything comes to them as a surprise then why are they your friends and you wonder why you're losing them you're have not... you ever seen where two people have been friends from secondary school to university to they are married and it's like friends forever <laughs> If it's something you admire, you like to have friends that are committed to you forever, but somehow you find it difficult to keep your friends. It's like you're losing your friends. It's like you have friends, but at the same time you're alone. Then here are a few reasons why you may be losing friends. The first one is that you do not commit as much as you expect them to commit to you. When it comes to human relationships, high expectations is a key problem. We expect a lot from our friends. We expect a lot of commitment, but then are we also offering the same level of commitment that we are expecting from our friends so you can check that maybe you're not committing at the same level that you expect them to commit to you and because they have noticed that you're not committing at the same level you don't show up when they need you they cannot rely on you you don't keep your promises you could come up with a plan you decide on something but then when it reaches your own time to do what you're supposed to do you don't do it but you expect others to do this then you should actually check your commitment level that could be a reason why you're losing your friends the second reason is that you bottle up things a lot now you are friends for a reason friends share emotions friends share problems friends share the good times the bad times together but if you now form the habit of always bottling up your feelings on the inside you don't share anything with your friends and you expect them to read your mind they are always they have to poke you poke you poke you before you say what is on your mind it can be really tiring and nobody really has that strength to keep poking you all the time for you to say what is on your mind then you're happy you're excited to the highest level the next day a small issue occurs and then you're flat like you're frowning all day you're not talking to anybody and you want them to probably you can't open up your mouth and say this is what you're making this was making me angry let's address this issue nobody really likes to always poke you to say something to say your mind you are friends for a reason friends should be able to share things freely so if you're not sharing information with them you're not sharing your emotions with them you're not sharing your feelings with them then that can be a reason why they are withdrawing from you. The third reason is that you don't share your big plans with them. The general dream of what you want to be in future, the big picture you have shared with them, but then the little steps you're taking together, you're not sharing them. All of a sudden, they find out that you're taking up a new program. Suddenly, they find out that you're taking, you're learning a new skill. Suddenly, they find out that you're traveling so so place. Everything comes to them as a surprise. Then why are they your friends? And you wonder why you're losing them. You're not keeping them abreast with your plans. You're not keeping them abreast with your life goals and that could be a good reason why you're losing your friends the fourth reason is when your friends have to beg you for everything <laughs> people need to do something they have to literally drag you up to follow them and do something people have plans to go shopping people have plans to read a particular subject together people have plans to go for a particular event these are things that people have already decided, they decided to do you have agreed that people are going to do it together but then when the time reaches for people to go about that activity you are now slacking you're now dragging your feet they have to beg you beg you beg you they have to sugarcoat you sweet words to cajole you to come and do what you originally agreed to do with them no nobody likes that kind of and stress nobody ready to go through that stress to keep up with you so it's just a matter of time they will get tired and they will start withdrawing from you Number five, please.